Primitive Plus gets a revival. Development Studios on track for DLC quality mods. And a playtest opportunity with a horror themed experience developer. You're right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share, and roll down. Let's get into it. So, Community Crunch 400, good grief, there's been 400 of these to date, introduces us to not a lot. There was some praise for International Women's Day. A shout out to OnFire944 and me, thank you very much. With some artwork, of course. Always good to see that artwork. And apart from a showcase of the mods that have recently dropped, a lot of cosmetic worthy items such as unicorn horns, outdoor decor, a tribal compi that seems to act like a wolf. And reinforced concrete building, which I specifically quite enjoyed seeing. Love the style of these. And Big Al's Karka rework. A lot of people are saying this is a real worthy entry to check out. The redesigned Karka is a cool thing indeed. And Nirandil, a map we checked out in its early development about a month ago or so. Might have to check out that soon. That was it in the world of Ark from the community dev team and it's a shame they didn't include the following though i get perhaps why because it's not out just yet primitive ascended a mod is coming and revealed from blitzfire with a wonderfully put together trailer showcasing us things like new structures new npcs in a goblin format which will be explained later on how useful they are that you can recruit face against enemy factions find helpful companions NPCs are really going to be utilized within a brand new overhauled system with, yes, primitive tools forged within new structures with hundreds of structures planned for this mod procedurally generated somehow. Very interested to see how that one works. Cooking systems, reimagined farming anyone. There's a lot being promised with this mod. And as a result, with this initial trailer kind of expected it, we won't be seeing this in its fully fleshed out form until sometime around July, as posted by Blitzfire in their Discord. Seeming to be a revival of the Primitive Plus mod that was kind of integrated into the base Ark game with Ark Survival Evolved. It's great to see. Said himself, said I hope somebody picks up the blueprint of what he created originally with that base mod and blitzfire seems to be progressing it to this newer version and i look forward to seeing more of it a lot of people are very excited to see this new version of primitive plus and how akin or different this appears to be the whole idea of npcs alone certainly spells a gameplay changing set of features i look forward to getting stuck in further and whilst we haven't been given too much information following this trailer obviously blitzfire from what we've seen so far it seems like a very polished mod i can't wait to check out and speaking of mods you might remember we reported a few weeks ago that the competition monetary acclaim award that uh, development studios were planned to be offered via curse forge's mudding system has been uh, seemingly abandoned with my assumption that all business-led development teams had pulled out and weren't making any mods anymore for arc ascended but turns out i got it completely wrong curse forge got in touch to let me know they're tripling their investment into the overall program feeling after speaking with various studios and creators that wasn't the correct approach and that there were better more direct ways they could support them in fact they still expect some dlc level mods to come in the future from both individuals and studios leaving me to question well what studios are bringing mods to arc survival ascended and curse forge were kind enough to let me know a couple of them we've got look north world known to create a bunch of mods for games like fortnite and headed up by a serious team of people with over 30 years of experience as mentioned in this recent video here. Skymap Games, anyone did a Don't Starve Together Pocket Edition shipwrecked thing, but would probably be more notable for their gameplay engineering for Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. You know, that augmented reality thing where you actually were moving your RC Mario Kart around. Thought it was a cool 
great idea actually, never got to play it myself. But yeah, they're making a DLC level mod for Ark Survival Ascended 2. And most prominently, Blue Isle Studios that have made a bunch of different games from Leap to Citadel to Slender, The Arrival, though the remake 10th anniversary edition. And of course, having some experience in the survival horror genre, I look forward to seeing what these guys are cooking, what they're going to bring to Ark Survival Ascended. And in fact, if you want to know yourself, well, there's an opportunity that has just arisen by this development studio. In a weirdly, bizarrely deleted thread on the Reddit for Ark, I don't know why they deleted this. This is like a great opportunity for people to know about, but let's take it out so nobody does know about it. Well, they're looking for playtesters for their upcoming mod, though you will be under NDA if you are checking out this mod they want feedback about this and how good it is obviously i've already got in touch and look forward to sharing more about what this mod is and i can't wait to see stuff like this coming in the future to arc yes i know there's some gripe around should we be completely reliant on mods but if what's being created out there is completely reshaping and delivering new ways of playing arc in a very well received format, why not right? And if you want to get in touch with Blue Isle Studios yourself to play test the game, make sure you, you're aware you're going to be under NDA. Best thing to do is probably get in touch via the website, that's how I got in touch with them myself. And so a bright and prosperous future for Ark Muds, hopefully. But Scorched Earth, <laughs> there's not a single word today, not a thing mentioned about this map that's coming at the end of the month. I guess, you know, it's a real shame Wildcard didn't say at least something with, of course, the absent T posts about Center leading up to the end of last month. And people are going to be thinking exactly the same scene that we're repeating. The same scenario that we did last month is Scorched Earth going to be delayed at this rate. At least we know this is the very first map Wildcard are making. Center wasn't being made by a Wildcard. It was being made by, I'm guessing it might be Grove Street Games, but not 100% sure on that. But this is their first map following the island. Could this be post feedback of what they did right or wrong with the island. Will it be a very cool map? Will we see some shots of it before the map comes out? I really hope we do. Next weekend, I think Wildcard, you needed at least show us a shot. One screenshot, one little square of even sand, a, a rock, anything. Post something and say, don't worry guys, Scorch Earth's still coming out, man. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do and people will be happy. I promise you, trust me, do it. One picture. That's all we need. More, even better. But one picture. And I'm sure you probably agree in the comments below. But are you excited about these mod type things? I am. Primitive Revival Ascended. Very excited about that. Can't wait to see that though. It is quite a long way away. And what is Blue Oil Studios cooking? We'll have to wait and see. Until the next one, my name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, up. Peace out. Stop.